Hey guys, so, um, I know I didn't post a video last night, and I'm posting one today, but it's not quite what I normally do. Um, I'm actually not feeling very well. I passed out in a subway last night. Um, just really weak and nauseous and blah. So, um, I'm not, I didn't write a poem yesterday, and I'm not writing a poem today, and I know that's a disappointment, and I'm killing you guys. Um, so what I figured I'd do is post a video um, where I read a couple of other people's poems. So disclaimer, none of these poems are mine and I will be giving those uh, writers credit. Um, reading a couple of poems that I've just been reading a lot lately. Um, and then as far as what I'll post is actually um, on my Facebook. Um, I'm going to post two notes. Uh, I've recently written two short stories, and I don't necessarily love either of them, uh, but it's a good start, so I'll post them, and you guys can read them, but they're like 10 pages each, so I don't think you guys want me to read those. Um, but I'll start with the poems now. Okay. So this poem is by, um, okay, truthfully, I'm not sure exactly who it's by. Um, I googled it. I actually found it on Tumblr today, and it's a really, really cool poem. Um, when I googled it, uh, someone with the screen name Breathe Alaska came up, um, and she published it on May 22nd, but I really, really love this poem. Um, I'm actually thinking of maybe performing it um, at the New Yorker on the 10th. So, uh, this was, I guess, her school um, gave her a prompt. So it's entitled, Fifth Period Poem Describing Yourself. I am not a graceful person. I am not a Sunday morning or a Friday sunset. I am a Tuesday, 2 a.m., gunshots muffled by a few city blocks. I am a broken window during February. My bones crack on a nightly basis. I am far from elegance with a dull thud, and I apologize for my awkward sadness, because sometimes I believe I don't belong around people, that I belong to the leap days that didn't happen, the way the light and darkness under my skin has become a storm. You don't see the lightning, but you hear the echoes. Um, so that was that poem. I really, really like that, so. Um, definitely wish I could give more credit for where it's due. Um, and the other poem I'm going to be reading is um, by Sierra de Mulder, who is one of my favorite artists at period. She's incredibly amazing. Um, so I'm not going to be performing this half as well as she does, uh, but this is one of her most famous poems, and I'll actually, um, I'll probably post a link to her video of this so you guys can watch it, but she is incredibly brave and amazing. And this poem's called Werewolf. Um, and it's actually about self-harm. Um, to clarify, I have never cut myself, um, but it's something a lot of people I know have struggled with. Uh, and it's a really, really horrible thing, and she just, um, she, she somehow captures how horrible it is to be in that situation, and like I said, really, really brave. So I'm going to read it and also link to it. Werewolf. The sun is setting on our eyelids, so listen to the cadence above my ribcage. Something wicked lies here, dormant, beating the shit out of my insides just to remind me that it's there. I'm a werewolf. I walk into the daylight with scratches that came from the darkness of my pores, but I swear I never wanted to die. I was 14 years old, barely breasted. This thin wrist kissed a kitchen knife on my yellow bedspread with white flowers, no red flowers, no blood, because it was just a kitchen knife, and I was just seeing how thick my stubborn skin was. The second was a lady's razor, the third was an exacto knife, the fourth was a box cutter, which to this day I still have. It is rusted. Like Ophelia, I am attracted to water. Blue handle, red blade, I have thrown it away twice, sent its demons to slice its shadows, waiting until I missed it. The rip, I missed it. Most people see box cutters and think airplanes, think failed security, think rectangles and pentagons. Me, I just see red lines like lipstick, more addictive than cocaine. This is dependence, stripped of pipes and filters. I am captivated by straight strokes and, s and sharp edges. My father has been dry for 14 years. 
and he tells me an alcoholic is always an alcoholic and sober is just another word for thirsty. My hands are too thirsty to admit on paper the last time I etched regret into my leg because the blade is still in me. The sickness is still in me and every day it calls to me to open up and let it breathe. I felt it dancing like the devil in the belt, felt metal kissing tissue, howled temptation into my scars when the moon was blackened. Carved, I am better than this, on the inside of my thigh, and in the morning the scars just read weakness. My own fingers are abusive, so shoot me with a silver bullet. Hold my hands away from their victim. I do not have layers of eyeliner and teen angst. I am not a little girl just looking to get looked at. I do not walk down the street or across it. I just live there. This is like breathing in pine pitch. It's like the shower water is gasoline and you're playing with matches. It's like looking through a stack of needles for a piece of daylight. It's like saying it's a rusty nail, saying it's barbed wire, saying it's a cat scratch, telling your mother it was an accident. It's not doing the one thing you want to when you know it only hurts yourself, so why the hell not? When all you want to do is break like bones and go into the drawer that isn't ever opened anymore. I am not looking for pity. I have baskets full. I am not looking for attention. There is a reason you don't see any scars. I think it's sick that this remedy requires something to be broken, veins enclosed with red fencing. I do not believe the band-aids are healing. They are just another layer. This is just another way of feeling. So that is Sierra de Mulder's poem, Werewolf. Um, definitely one of my favorites. Just incredibly moving, incredibly brave. Um, and I guess... Um, I just want to say that anybody who's going through that, like, please get some help. Because reading that poem, is just like, it hurts. Um, and it's, it's, it's a horrible epidemic. And like I said, I know a lot of people struggle with that. And it's not something anyone should have to struggle with alone. So um, go see someone if you have this problem. Okay, um, so like I said, I'm going to be posting those two short stories and then... Um, in this, I'll actually post links to the both of the poems I read. Um, yeah, have a great day.